Hey everybody, it's Peter from the Kia Hyundai channel. This is the 2022 Kia Carnival. And if you're gonna buy a minivan, oh right, we're not supposed to call it a minivan. It's a minivan. If you're gonna buy a minivan, you're gonna wanna load a lot of people and a lot of cargo into this vehicle. And there's a whole lot of options that make it really easy, really practical. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the cargo and people flexibility options available in this vehicle. Let's go take a look. All right, let's start with the SX model. This is only available on the top trim line and really it's not what we're gonna make most of the video about, but it's pretty cool. So let's show you in the top line trim, you get these captain's chairs. Now they can be moved forward and back and inside and out. So I'm gonna pull this lever, slide it inside. I'm gonna slide it all the way. And I mean, all the way back, way back here. And then I hit one little button right over here. Now there's a lot of buttons back here, but this one's the favorite one. And you start reclining and reclining and reclining. And you'll notice my feet are starting to be supported. Now it's a little short for my feet. So, oh, it's extending out. And basically if you're the driver, if you hear any complaints about your passengers not being happy on the long road trip, you need to kick them out of your car. This car is amazing, but there's a few downfalls with these seats. First of all, they're not removable. Most of the other carnivals are. It's one touch to do it, so it's super easy. But uh, the other downfall is if you have these seats in the position that I have them in all the way back, and let me just hit the other button here to collapse it back up, you will not be able to use the rear seats. Now, you can still use the leg rest function. You can still put the seat significantly further forward recline them back and use the rear seats. But if you go full out crazy lounge, you're gonna lose some uh, passenger capacity in the rear seat, uh, but you still have a lot of luggage space. It's kind of amazing back here, but most of you are gonna have a different trim level and let's go take a, take a look at those right now. All right, so you're buying a minivan, you've got kids probably, maybe not, but if you do, you've got kids and they're all running around and let's be honest, between you and I, sometimes they're a little bit of a pain in the butt and they all want to get inside the vehicle at the same time and you're carrying all the stuff because none of your freeloaders are going to carry their own stuff and they all want to get in the van at the same time. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the remote, the unlock button, and you'll hear it beep. You wait for a second and the side doors open and the tailgate opens. Now you can set it so just the side doors open and that way if you're in a garage, you don't have a tailgate that uh, is going to be in the way. You can set the height of the tailgate. So if you are in a garage, it's not gonna hit things. Lots of options here, but that's one option to open all the doors. If I wanna close them all, I'm gonna hold the lock button, wait for a couple seconds, and everything shuts. Pretty cool, but that's just getting started. Let's show you a couple other little features. All right, so now you're coming back because your little angel forgot their little teddy bear and your hands are full, so you can't hold that button on the key fob. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand next to this door, in the middle of the door, you're gonna hear the beeping five times in three seconds, you didn't touch anything, and the door opened and the vehicle unlocked. That's called smart doors. So smart doors, smart tailgate, you just have to stand there with your proximity key on your body, in my case it's in my pocket, it senses you're standing beside the middle of this door and the door will open. It's a great feature to Put your kids in. Maybe you've got a kid in a car seat and you don't want to set them down on the ice and snow. Just stand there. The door opens on its own and you can put your child in the rear seat. It also works on the tailgate. Stand behind the tailgate. Wait a few seconds. Beeps five times in three seconds and the tailgate opens. Super great feature. You can turn it on. You can turn it off. Whatever you want. The other feature that's new on the Carnival is the tailgate can also auto close. So if you walk away with the key fob, it can close. Now, if you have small, small kids, you may not want to have that feature active just because it has to face a little resistance before it pops back up. And you don't want to pop that little kid in the head and then have it reverse back up. It doesn't hurt, but you know, you're probably a bad parent if you let your minivan hit the door on the kid. Might be fun to try sometime though. You never know. All right, let's talk about the middle row seats. Once you're sitting in here, first question everybody asks with the minivan, do the seats fold into the floor? They don't. And that's okay. If you've ever noticed those seats that fold into the floor, 
they're actually much smaller seats. They're much thinly, much more thinly padded, and they're low to the floor. So you might think, nah, no big deal. I just got kids, but kids grow up. And when they grow up, they get bigger, and they want an adult-sized seat. So you can still create luggage space in here, and we'll talk about that in a second. It's very easy to do. But you have a seat that is properly adult size. My legs are flat on the seat. I'm sitting behind myself. If I was a six foot driver, six foot passenger, you've got tons of space and you can move them forward if you like. You can recline them back. You've got armrests here. You've got a really comfortable seating environment here. Now let's talk about the middle seat. Over here in this middle seat, it's a little bit unique. So you can fold it down like this. You've got a platform here, works great for coloring, works great to set the iPad. You've got phone slots in here. Even on this LX Plus model, you've got USB ports everywhere. You've got them in the back of the seat here so your kids can have their devices, those kinds of things. If, however, you wanna use this as a seat, you pull this back up and it has a shoulder belt attached to the seat, not attached to the ceiling. And this seat can go a long ways forward. The reason you want this to go forward is maybe you have a baby or a child seat in here and this passenger right here can help tend to that baby. So that's a good feature to have. The other thing is maybe you've got a ton of luggage with you and you got to put three kids across right here. So you got to put the rear seats down, but kids, I'm going to break it to you gently. They don't always get along. Sometimes that's difficult. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this person here, and it's usually the difficult one that you sit in the middle, and you get rid of them. It's way back there. Come on, I'll show you what I did. All right, we're looking at the back of the van, and you can see I've got the third row seats in the floor, and you've got all kinds of luggage space around that middle seat, but that middle seat is a full row behind the center row there. So that middle seat of the van can slide a long ways forward to help a child or a long ways back in order to separate them, give some space between everyone. Or you can set this down as a table and you can put these third row seats up and they have a little coloring area, a little cup holder area, all kinds of things. So that center seat is really flexible, but it's flexible for a purpose. And if you're a parent, you could probably find ways to adjust that to make your kids perfectly happy. Maybe not perfectly happy, but it's a pretty cool system. All right, so you bought an eight passenger van. You've got all of the middle row seats moved forward. You're going to need all the extra seats. So pretty simple. Pop that up like that. Pull this back like this. Set the headrest up and you've got a comfortable seat. And they are lighter than they were in the previous Kia Sedona. I don't have to work very hard to do this. You don't have to be that strong to do this. These seats tilt a long ways back or they go more upright and you've got an immense amount of cargo space here. How much? Well, I can sit down here and hide from the kids, just power down the tailgate with the remote. They'll never know I'm here. So um, you're well below the window line. There's a lot of space back here. There's also a USB port. So if you have a cooler, you can put that back here. But this is significantly larger than any other minivan on the market. It's huge. And that's why you're buying a minivan, because you need some space. All right, so you got rid of your eight passengers and you just need to carry a four by eight sheet of drywall or plywood. And you're concerned because these seats don't go into the floor. You're concerned that maybe you can't do that. Well, here's the thing. I have a bad back. I can't lift heavy things. So let's see how easy this is. Flip this down like that. Flip this up like that. And simple, simple, simple. It's easy to carry. Is it a little heavy to lift above my head? Sure. Could one person take it out? Yeah, if you can lift a toddler, you can lift this seat. Super easy to put out, just as easy to put in. And when all these seats are out, four by eight sheet of plywood, no problem. Not a problem, it's fact, in fact, it's quicker to put them in and out than it is to fold those other ones down into the floor where your kids stored crumbs and toys and other things you gotta pull out. It's super simple. For the few times that you need all the seats out, take them out. Super simple. Now that we've taken that seat out, can you really fit a four by eight sheet of plywood in here? Well, there's eight feet. It's easily inside the minivan. It's four feet across. This is the largest minivan. You're buying a minivan because you want interior space. This has the most interior space in its class.
So that's the basic passenger and cargo configurations available in the Kia Carnival. If you want to know more about this vehicle, subscribe to this channel. We have all kinds of videos on these vehicles, and we usually go live every weekday at 2 o'clock to show you a Kia or a Hyundai vehicle. We're happy to put the Carnival back in. If you have questions, fill the comment section with your questions, and we'll pull it back in here for future videos. Thanks, everybody, for watching.